have we got here? With Dr. Day. For Aboriginal people, the Darling River has been the centre of their existence for over 40,000 years. Aboriginal people depended on the river for food, shelter, medicines, trade and ceremonies. Although land and water has changed dramatically in the last 200 years, a strong spiritual connection continues to this day. There are some key places where Aboriginal people meet to trade, feast and hold ceremonies. One of these places is Bawarana, and it was here that Aboriginal people built a series of fish traps. They're estimated to be over 40,000 years old and one of the oldest man-made structures left in the world. I lived here all my life on this river. It means everything to me, yeah. The fish traps, they're one of the oldest man-made structures in the world which were built by our people to catch fish. All fish swim upstream and, and they build a, like, a, like a half a circle there, what you see, and they swim up into them and our people used to catch them with their hands or with spears, yeah. So, and, and that practice is still used today by our people, but not so much with spears, they usually catch them with their hands. They mean everything to our people. And, um, you know, like, it's a, like a spiritual contact we have with this, with this place, you know. Like, I walk down here every day looking at it, you know, just, you know, because I work just up here and I live, acro live across the river and they're important, yeah. Because look, they're important because they're old and they, like our ancestors built them and sure they're important to us, yeah. Back then it was a, like a shopping centre, like they'll get all their food from around here. So if they didn't get fish, they'll rather get kangaroos, they'll rather get emus from around here, yeah. And the plants along the river would have, you know, they would have probably provided, you know, like um, medicine for our people, yeah. Um, it's our main food source, you know, like we've, you know, like, well naturally people need water to live and naturally people, all people in this area love fish. There's, we get the Murray cod and we get the yellow belly and even in, in the picture that we got in the museum there's silverfish there too. Fish is an important part of their diet and if you ever look at it, a lot of, our, lot of our elders back then they were pretty trim, you know, exactly like me, yeah. Our people always shared, shared, the, shared the river and the fish traps and the, you know, like a lot of, our, lot of our real old elders told me that. They said no one owns them, therefore all the different, the, all the different tribes that come here, yeah. You know, like we treasure these, we treasure these, these um, rocks, we, you know, we love it. We've got that spiritual connection with our land and especially this place, yeah. This area means everything to me, yeah, it's like a, it's like a marriage type thing, you know, it's, it's, it's probably better, you know, like it's, I love my place and I love, I love this, you know, yeah. I'm passionate about my town and my people and, and my fish traps, yeah.